I was checking out the web portal of Joyark this week, and guess what I saw? Yep, Joyark has added Hogwarts Legacy to their game lineup. Yes, we have another pick up and play cloud platform that now has Hogwarts Legacy. I've played it on my desktop and on iPad. Now is this the best way to play the game instantly? I've got all the magical details. There are a couple of things that make Joyark great and not so great. I'll show you what I mean. We'll start on desktop mode since that will give us the biggest resolution for testing. I was curious if the shaders were going to take a long time. It took about three and a half minutes, and it seems like this is the standard time for most others. I also get this weird 1920 by 1200 resolution with Joyark and Netboom. I wonder if that's coincidence. More on that soon. The graphics settings put me at medium settings with DLSS on quality. We'll run with this first. Now my controller wasn't working for this, so I'm using mouse and keyboard. And it took me a second to get used to this, but I made it work. I am very surprised at how well this runs. I'm getting 60 to 80 FPS outside to start with from where I left off. I don't think I got any lower than 50 FPS at all outside. Very impressive. Combat indoors played just as well. Latency could use a little bit of work, but as of now, this is beating Boosteroid. Slow clap. Now here's where things kind of go awry. I closed the game on desktop to try the game on my iPad. I did close the game properly through the game menu, but Steam quit before it was able to upload my cloud save. This was a problem for me because when I started on my iPad, this time playing with my Xbox controller, my previous actions didn't save and I had to do it all over again. Thankfully I didn't play for long and hopefully this doesn't happen again. So when I did start the game on my iPad, I had to wait for the shaders, but once I got in, I did notice that the graphic settings were the same, but the resolution was set to 1600 by 900. Now this time, I wanted to see how the platform could handle DLSS being turned off. And if you didn't know, Joyark uses the equivalent of an RTX 3060 for its GPU. So I go back to Lucan to redo my combat trial. Oh, check out these frames. This is with DLSS off, mind you. Now it took me a minute to get used to playing on controller again, and I got it done. What a victory! You've won the tournament! It was mostly luck, that's all. Now let's take my wand skills to the streets. I did start testing out DLSS and FSR technologies here. And wouldn't you know, turning on one or the other barely did anything. I maybe got a 10 frame boost on performance to even ultra performance. I found this very odd. So in the long run, I turned it off completely. Now as I found out, fights in the game get harder as you venture out and take on more quests. Quite quickly too. And as I mentioned previously, I'm using an Xbox controller connected with Bluetooth. I definitely recommend this over the native touch controls. But even using the controller on Joyark, controller delay was an issue. My latency is decent and I even have Nvidia Reflex turned on. But these dimwits were a bit of a problem for me. It just seemed like my timing was off. Now I did get used to it, but I admit Boosteroid's latency was a bit better for me, even though the latency said that we were basically the same. Now frames held up and the stream was slightly smoother than the desktop version, but that's to be expected since the resolution was smaller. Now this time when I quit the game correctly, Steam actually uploaded the same to Cloud this time, so I should be good for next time. Which is a good thing because I really don't want to fight those nitwits again. Make sure you do the same when quitting the game. Hopefully this works for you every time, but I noticed that Joyark can be iffy about this. Fun times. Raise your hand if you love replaying everything you've done for hours over and over again. Anyone? That's what I thought. Overall, this is probably one of the better Hogwarts Legacy playthroughs we've had yet. Unfortunately though, it's on Joyark, which can be a service that can be finicky at times. Play at your own risk. Gameplay was decent, but the infrastructure needs some work. If you like this overview of Hogwarts Legacy on Joyark, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel, or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight. I wish I knew a spell to create the best platform. Platformio! That was quite something. See, even I like it.